Welcome back. I am Olivia Flavia Zora from Antec Home. And in today's video, I am so excited to share with you guys six DIY Dollar Tree and budget friendly decor crafts. So I love to share with you guys how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a budget. I truly believe you do not have to break the bank to have a fabulous, amazing home. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on my Olivia Zora from Antec Home Facebook page. I'm also going to be announcing the winner of my $100 Hobby Lobby gift card giveaway, and I will have a new giveaway way for April once that rolls around. Listen, thank you all so, so much for being here. Thank you for your prayers for my sister, Brianna. I'm going to update you on her health status at the end of this video, so please try to watch all the way through. It helps me out so much. Without further ado, let's go ahead and plug in those glue guns, get out your glitter and paint, and let's get to crafty. Easter Bunny sign. So to start out with, I'm just going to take one of those Dollar Tree signs that says let it snow and then I peeled off the let it snow. If you don't have this sign, do not worry. You can use pretty much any sign and paint it white. And then I'm going to take this adorable bunny picture. I found it on graphicsfairy.com. All you have to do is go to graphicsfairy.com and Google Easter Bunny and you have so many different little bunny pictures to um, choose from. I just printed it out on regular paper and then I'm going to add some hot glue. I could not find my Mod Podge or glue for the life of me. Either I'm out or I've misplaced them. Comment and let me know if you guys do the exact same thing as a crafter. You have everything all organized so you think you go to find something and it's gone. And so now I'm just adding these cute little burlap rosettes. I find them at burlapfabric.com. I'll leave a link for that as well. I do have a $5 off coupon code. It's Olivia Spring. And then I decided after I got the cute bunnies and the little rosettes on that I would take some of this Dollar Tree polka dot ribbon and just kind of ruche it together. So I'm just adding hot hot glue and then ruching it together and just creating a little bit of razzle dazzle. You all know I love to add just a little bit of extra sparkle and shine. And then once I had everything added, I did decide to add one of those beautiful little bling brooches. I get my bling brooches off of totallydazzled.com. I'll also leave a link for that for you guys. They're super inexpensive. And then Dollar Tree is also carrying pearls. So I decided to add some pearls as well. And here it is. Oh my goodness. I think this is so fun and fabulous and something that you would see at TJ Maxx or Home Goods, definitely for much more than a couple of dollars. You can also Always use what you have, dig into your scraps and pull out, you know, grandma's old jewelry or whatnot. So for the next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to use this super adorable box. I actually found this at Dollar General. It was $2. And then I'm just going to take some scotch tape and I'm going to create a spot um, going across the box and then the other way. So you almost make like a basket weave with your scotch tape. What I want to do is create a beautiful floral arrangement in this box without ruining the box by gluing down any kind of foam. So I can easily remove the tape, change out the floral, use it for storage or do whatever suits my fancy. Now I'm taking these beautiful tulips. I found them for $1.99 at Michael's and then some of these beautiful Dollar Tree spindly flowers. I believe they're called amorithesis. Is that right? You guys comment and let me know. I think somebody told me last time, um, but I'm even actually not completely for sure how to pronounce that, but look how beautiful this is. So you're just going to use some spring florals. I chose um, a stem of green tulips, a stem of pink tulips, two stems of the white tulips, and then just some of these Dollar Tree wildflowers. They kind of stand up a little further. And so I had kind of 
of the cascading flowers and then the wild flowers. And then I did end up take the cascade flowers and snip them down just a little bit so they weren't quite as loopy out the edge. I know I've had some questions about that. And even I used some of the greenery that was on this. So just get creative. This box would also be fabulous, gorgeous with roses done in it. I don't know if you've seen some of those bouquets. They are so ridiculously expensive and you guys can do this on the cheap with a little bit of creativity, some scotch tape and some beautiful florals from wherever you choose. The other place I love to check out finding beautiful florals are the thrift store. So definitely check your floral section at your thrift store. And here is how the finished product looks. I am over the moon in love with this. Spring is definitely blooming in my heart and I will be decorating for spring very soon after our Valentine's Day celebration. If you all need um, ideas for Valentine's Day, I did 40 DIYs for Valentine's Day, so go check out the Home Sweet Home series playlist. I'm going to link it for you guys down below. So for the next Dollar Tree DIY, I want to create a little mini egg topiary to put on top of my candlesticks that I found at the thrift store. I'm going to take a packet of the larger Dollar Tree eggs. I'm going to hot glue this with a lot of hot glue. So I clipped the stick off of the egg and then I'm hot gluing it. And then I'm going to clip the stick off of the next egg, but I'm going to leave a little bit of stick on there so I can just push it through. And I'm just going to kind of create a fun little whimsical topiary. So I'm going to continue to clip more eggs, leaving a little bit of stem so I can secure them on there. If you want added security, add a dab of hot glue to the end of your stem. Now I know it looks kind of funky here, but you guys hang in there with me. So now I'm going to take a little bit smaller of an egg and begin to build a bit of a topiary. I just want them to kind of sit on top of the egg. So I didn't want them to go super tall and be flopping over. I want to create a low base egg topiary. So I'm continuing to add these in and also try to vary your colors. Um, if you have yellow on the bottom, put the yellow at the top. I did my best with this. You could also use some even smaller eggs if you wanted to build on top of that. Now I'm taking some of this greenery. I actually found this at, I believe it was at Michael's. It's some really pretty greenery. They also have beautiful greenery at Dollar Tree or just dig into your craft stash and find some pretty greenery and add that in and around the spaces where you stuck the eggs in. So that's going to give your eggs also added security. The hot glue will hold them together as well as the greenery. And then you have a very fabulous egg topiary. Again, that would cost you, you know, 10 to $15 at one of the decor stores. And we're doing it on the cheap for sure. I just love this. I love figuring out fun ways to create new home decor on the cheap that looks fabulous and that's budget friendly. how the finished product looks after I popped it on top of my little shabby chic candlesticks. I found these candlesticks at the thrift store. I painted them white and distressed them and I just thought it would be so fun to add that. You could also add these little egg topiaries to a three-tiered tray or to a centerpiece on your table for a little bit of razzle dazzle for your Easter decor. I'm just loving this. I think they look fun and fabulous and they were so easy to do. For the next LA Tree DIY, I want to create an oversized bird nest with this little pink basket I found at Dollar Tree. It was two for a dollar and it was left over in the Valentine's Day decor. I'm just taking this larger piece of burlap. Again, I get all my burlap at burlapfabric.com and I'm just hot gluing it in and around this little basket. Now just look around your home. You guys probably have a little basket that could easily be turned into a bird's nest. Last year, I also used um, 
chicken of the sea tuna cans to turn into bird's nest you can use sour cream containers whatever you have on hand just take it and then cover it either with some fabric or some burlap or some ribbon and that will get you started on your little fun and fabulous bird nest so now I'm just gonna take some Dollar Tree raffia and I'm going to wrap that around the top I want to always think about what a bird would use to create a nest so the birds here at my house they kind of gather all different kinds of materials so I feel like the raffia gives this project a bit of dimension I am just gonna add a dab of hot glue to kind of secure it on and then I did even add a pipe cleaner to the other side and then I just popped outside and grabbed some um, sticks these were from a grapevine wreath that I had pulled apart but you guys can find sticks or grapevine wreaths at your craft store or also at the Dollar Tree so just hot glue those on and then I used some moss to kind of cover the sticks with because they weren't hot glued on there as well as I wanted them to so the moss or cutting some little strips of burlap and putting those on top of your sticks will help them stay on I will let you know that you need to have your vacuum on hand because this is a very messy project but the in the end you'll be so excited because Pottery Barn is selling these for hella expensive um, and you guys just can do a lot of this do it yourself and make a beautiful little bird nest basket and I used several of these last year for my Easter decor and they are so beautiful again they're really messy but they're well worth it in the end For the next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to take this little lantern that I found at the thrift store and several different rolls of Dollar Tree Spring Easter ribbon, and I'm going to take it and make a funky bow. So I saw Julie Samako from Southern Charms Wreath make one similar to this, so I'm going to try my hand at this. Bear with me. This is the first time I've ever made one of these. So I'm just taking my ribbon and I'm stretching it out and cutting 16 inch pieces for all of the ribbon. Now you all measure whatever size you all need to the project that you have this lantern is very small so I didn't need very long ribbon but if you have a larger rib, um, lantern you might want to use larger ribbon and I'm just taking the ribbon and I'm looping it over on itself and then pinching it in the center and I'm just beginning to layer them on top of each other again this is my take on the funky bow and then you can just take also and twist that ribbon out and just continue to pinch it and loop it over. This is also a really great way to repurpose and reuse any ribbon that you may have in your stash that's not big enough to make a larger bow with. So you can take scrappy ribbon and easily repurpose. Then I'm taking this pipe cleaner and I'm just gonna pipe cleaner all of the ribbon together. And then comes the super fun part. After you have it all together, you can just begin to twist your ribbon loops out and make them look all fancy and fabulous. And also don't forget to dovetail your ends. And I dovetail my ends by taking and cutting a little triangle upward in my ribbon to kind of give it that beautiful boutique finish. The next thing I want to do is just take some hot glue and add hot glue to the ends of these little tulips and these little lilacs. I had these lilacs left over from last year. I found them at Dollar Tree, but just dig into your craft stash. Whatever little spring flowers you have are so easy to just go ahead and pop in to your little arrangement and just add a tiny bit of hot glue. I'm trying not to add a super ton of hot glue because if I want to reuse um, these florals, I want to be able to pull them out fairly easily and once this arrangement gets set where it needs to be it will be fine it won't get moved around or windblown or anything like that oh my goodness these spring colors are just speaking to me and I love that Dollar Tree is really giving us some variety this beautiful little checkered plaid is so pretty I know they had it at Michael's for definitely more than a dollar um, you don't get a whole super ton on the rolls and they are a bit of flimsy ribbon but if you're just doing a fun little whimsical bow here and there I think they're really great and fun to use especially if you want to try out different color combinations this I really
really went all spring with yellows and pinks and blues and purples. Comment and let me know how you all decorate for spring. Do you really go for all of the beautiful spring colors with the lilacs and the pastels? Do you stick to your black and whites or just greens? And here is the finished project and I am so in love with this. This was so fun to make and it's so beautiful and it will fit perfectly into my beautiful spring decor. For the next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm just going to take some little fairy lights and I'm going to take some of those Dollar Tree carrots and I'm going to add some hot glue to the center part of the fairy light just a tiny bit and then I'm going to gently wrap that stem of the carrot around the top of it. I saw these on the Pier 1 website for definitely more than a couple of dollars and I think adding a little whimsical garland is really sweet. It gives that nice little glow that you may be missing from Christmas. I did pop a little candle into the lantern and then here is how those super adorable fairy lights look. Oh my goodness, so ready for some spring dreaming. As always, I ask that you guys comment and let me know what was your favorite DIY in this video and which one will you be recreating? And thank you for all of the beautiful posts that you're sharing on Facebook. I just love to see what you all are up to. You create such beautiful treasures. It just truly makes my heart sparkle and shine. So as always, I want to encourage you all to keep up the good work, crafting and decorating and tidying your home and looking forward to this new season with joy no matter what the circumstances are. I know sometimes things can be really amazing and sometimes not so much. So keep your chin up and keep going. Keep up that good work you guys. So thank you all so much for joining me on another fun and fabulous crafting and decorating adventure. It's a true blessing and honor to have you all here. I am a DIY crafty mama and I have been on YouTube now for six seasons. So if you guys need crafting and decorating inspiration or you just simply love to watch crafting videos, you like my voice, you enjoy my content, definitely press play on some of my crafting marathons and watch them all the way through. You're gonna be so happy and ready for that new season. I call myself a seasonal decor enthusiast, a maximalist. I just love to share with you guys my ideas for crafting and decorating. And I have been crafting and decorating ever since I was a little girl. I loved art, I loved putting things together, I loved working with my hands. And so if you guys love that, or if you even find that therapeutic, you know, maybe your crafts don't turn out perfect, which trust me, so many of my crafts are craft fails. But over the years, I've gotten a little bit better and honed my craft um, a little bit more. Um, so, you know, that being said, just keep going. You guys, practice makes perfect. And every time you try making a bow, that bow is going to get a little bit better. Um, trust me, I know from um, the beginning, I couldn't make a bow to save my life. And now I feel like I've gotten a little bit better. I'm still not like one of the floral, you know, pros. But Anyway, if you guys need crafting and decorating inspiration on my YouTube channel, I do have my um, seasonal decor crafts organized into playlists. You guys can simply press play and you'll have so much content to watch. And I guarantee you, your heart's going to feel happy. You're going to feel ready to craft and decorate, or maybe you're just going to feel creative. Sometimes I'll watch other creative adventures that people are sharing and get myself excited to go tackle a project in my home or a new wreath or something like that. So... I also want to update you all on my sister, Brie. She has a really, really, really hard terminal diagnosis that um, she is experiencing that we are walking through with her. So please say a prayer for my sister, Brianna, and her family, for all of us um, as a family. Um, I'm going to be going up there to the hospital again to check on her today. And so it's just a lot to go through. So please say a prayer for her. And if you guys are going through a health crisis or a family member that is, please drop those prayer requests down below. This is a praying community. And sometimes even if you don't get a response, somebody that sees it is going to whisper a little prayer for you and just know that you are loved 
and that you are enough and to keep putting one foot in front of the other. I'm a faith-based mama, so I love grabbing those Dollar Tree prayer cards and that helps me start my day. But I know going back to God every single time, staying in church just really helps my heart and, um, you know, do your best to forgive the ones that you love. Do your best to keep loving on those hard people that there are to love because that's what God would do. He would want all that compassion um, to flow from our hearts. So we have to keep our hearts freed up. We can't stay angry, um, although it is natural sometimes to be angry. Anyway, that being said, I just want to encourage you guys as we walk through this eat week, um, and I love y'all, and I'm going to hug all of your hearts so tight. Thank you all so, so much for being here. Thank you for watching my videos, for sharing them. Follow me on my YouTube channel. Follow me on my Olivia's Romantic on my Facebook page. I love y'all to the moon and back. I'm hugging your hearts again, and I wish you a gorgeous, fabulous, blessed day. And until our next video, be kind to yourselves, be kind to one another, and we'll talk to you guys very soon. Mm -hmm. Bye. I love you.